Now in this first part then, we're given the marks of 45 students that uh, sat at a maths exam and we're shown this stem and leaf diagram. And what we've got to do is first of all write down the modal mark for these students and then in the second part, part B, we've got to find the lower quartile, median and upper quartile. So uh, let's start then by looking at the modal mark of the students. That's the one that occurs the most often. So that modal mark then has got to be this one here. You can see we've got 60 occurring four times. Most frequent value, so 60. Now in part B then we've got to start finding the lower quartile, median and upper quartile. We'll start with the median first of all. It doesn't matter what order we do this in, I'm sure we can just summarize our results at the end. Now, when we're trying to find the median for discrete data, okay, which we've got here, we need to find that middle value when it's arranged in order of size. Well, it is arranged in order of size, so that's okay, but where would that middle value be? Well, We've got a total of 45 values here. And what we need to do to get the position is to add one to this value and then divide by two. So the position of the median, okay, and the median is often called Q2, the second quartile value, if you like. The position of that is going to be 45 plus 1 over 2. It's going to be that erd, if you like, value. All right. So it turns out to be 46 divided by 2, the 23rd value. So where is the 23rd value? Well, we've got 3 in this list here, followed by another 6, so that's 9 values, followed by another 5 in this next row, so that's 14, another 6, so that's 20, the 20th value will be that 54, so this will be the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 23rd value is that one there, the 56, okay, let's just highlight that, okay, there you go, so the 23rd value, we can say therefore Q2, the median, equals 56. Now, when it comes to finding the lower quartile and the upper quartile, what I want to do is find the middle of the values to the left or below the median and the middle of the values above the median. And you'll find in different textbooks, whatever, different methods are given of how we locate that position. Now I know, I'm, as I say, I'm totally aware that there's different methods, but I prefer to just use this method where if I've got a list of numbers and I want to find the middle value, all I've got to do is add one and divide by two to locate where it's going to be. So for the lower quartile, I need to get that position, position of the lower quartile. Let's just write it in here, lower quartile. And we tend to use Q1 for that value. So where is it going to be? Well, the position of the medium was the 23rd value, so that means that we've got 22 values below the median. So the position has got to be then surely 22 plus 1 divided by 2. So that would be 23 divided by 2, it would be the 11.5th value. Okay, 11.5th value. So where is the 11.5th value? Well, it's in between the 11th and 12th values. So we've got to find the mean of the 11th and 12th values, and that will get us Q1. So therefore, Q1 equals, well, let's see what that 11th value was. So we've got three then in this row, another six, that's nine values, 10, 11, the 11th value is a 46, 
The twelfth value is also a 46, so it's the mean of those two, which is obviously 46. But I'll just show the working anyway. 46 plus 46 divided by 2. OK, so we end up with Q1 equaling 46, the lower quartile. Similarly, for the upper quartile, well, we know the position of it because we've got 22 values to the right of 56, the median here. And so therefore we need to find out what the 11.5 value is going to be. So if we come from here starting at 57, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So we know that the 11th value is 64 and the 12th value up here was also a 64. So the upper quartile then is going to be the mean of those two is going to be 64. So I'm going to say the upper quartile okay the upper quartile and that value is Q3 it's going to be equal to the mean of 64 and 64 which is clearly 64. I'm only just doing this just to make that point that it's the mean. So obviously if you get different values here, then that's the way that you would approach it. OK, so I uh, hope it's given you some idea then how well, how I would go about finding those the median and those quartiles. OK, so if you wanted further examples on this, just go on my website. Uh, and have a look under uh, finding the median quartiles for discrete data. All right.